is the passenger, the T-800 head. Uh-oh, it's not going to roll over either. Me, as a transformer, almost going to fall in the water. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, assalamu alaikum, greetings, Alisha Ma here and welcome to part 2 of 3D printing a full size boat video series. In this video, yes, I have done some of my work and designed some of the hulls, basically four different types of hull that I need to test and then decide on one winning hull type which I will go ahead and 3D print, I mean complete the design and 3D print it in full size using those two 3D printers behind me. Now you have watched my social media post where I have shown you a picture of all the filament that I have got. PETG, PETG and PLA both materials are here and I believe that's plenty of material to 3D print one full size one person or two person electric boat. Now let me show you four different types of hulls that I have designed. We'll bring them to a bathtub to test their floating capabilities and other capabilities right away after which you will help me decide which hull I should go ahead with and 3D print a full size of that hull. Beautiful, like a simple little V here, really nice and later do, 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 do. All right, baby. Shark Plus. Turn it on. Get ready for printing. We flat bottom hull. Confirm. So first is this one, the M hull, because I was doing some research and a study online about different types of hull and their characteristics and I find the M type of hull to be very, very stable in different types of waters, calm waters or wavy waters, ocean waters, they are very, very stable hull because they have kind of V in the middle and then also M at the side to keep it, you know, from rolling and very, very stable and they are pretty efficient as well. However, this design did not turn out very good. So I went ahead with other hull, which is traditional V bottom on the front and flat bottom gradually goes to the flat bottom on the back. So this is the second hull, which I believe is traditional and it's proven hull for speed boats. And then I went ahead for a catamaran type of hull because my study also shows that catamaran hull are the very, very most stable hull, but they are not very efficient when it comes to the power. And then finally, I decided why not combine a proven model traditional hull that is V, uh, v bottom on the front and the flat bottom and M all together. This is the hull where I combine V bottom, flat bottom and M and this is what I got. It looks, it looks very well, very nice, kind of a speed boat. You know, it has all the nice curves on it and on the front and on the back you can see it looks very good. I believe it will also track very well without the rudder while this one might need a rudder for tracking straight. So let's take them to the water tub and test them right away in the water, see how they handle. This is the passenger for testing. If it is not heavy, we have the T-800 head for testing. So first I had this one in mind and this is like a shoe but it does have an M type of hull. So you put it in the water, it floats very well. It has probably good speed as well. 
but it doesn't have that straight traction. I'm not sure why. It does take some weight before the water can actually go in. So it has very nice displacement. Let's put the passenger in our transformer. There you go. Okay. Let's say the transformer is me and it's actually floating very well. Showing very good buoyancy as well. Okay. If I lean the passenger to the right, it doesn't flip over. See? It doesn't roll over. Shouldn't say flip over. It doesn't roll over. So it's showing good. Let's add more heavier passenger. Let's say a T800 head into it. Uh oh, it goes to the side, the boat actually rolls and drowns. Maybe this thing is really too heavy for it, but if I keep it in the center, the boat does have floating capability. Now comes the traditional design, the traditional hull, as you can see. This is very stable left and right it actually adjusts itself very good and it's a speedy but don't have good tracking this means it will need rudder so speed wise or power wise this hull is really very efficient i believe so here comes our passenger the transformer is going to ride it all right very nice it's actually still doing very well when the transformer is at the back the head is not rising too much so i'm not worried and if i lean the passenger to the right it's not going to roll over either nice look at that that's nice so basically according to the size that i have designed I will be almost as big as the transformer in the boat after the full size 3D printing. So this one is nice, it's good. This design passes. Now comes this hull. I personally like it because it has the same capabilities or characteristics of this hull, okay? That is a slight V with flat bottom. So it has a slight V and it has flat bottom and it has also an M characteristic of the hull. Sits in the water really nice and look at that. Speed is good and it tracks very, very straight. See? Tracks very straight while this one does not track straight. It turns in the middle somewhere. So that means we will need a really nice rudder on this one but this one without rudder tracks really nice and straight and shows good speed as well okay so let's add the passenger in this one let's say this is me what happened to my foot spread the legs please let's say this is me <laughs> and it actually does a very good job floating very well let's move myself forward floating nice tracking straight very nice let's lean myself to the side and look at that look at that compared to this one it's almost the same leaning at one side but it's not rolling over if this side it's not rolling over. Look at that. Me, as a transformer, almost going to fall in the water, but it's not rolling over still. See what I'm talking about? So this is very, very stable. Much more stable than the previous one. What if we add a fatty or heavier passenger on the front? It takes it. It's still floating. Let's put the heavy passenger on the back. It takes it and it still holds it. Let's roll it at one side. Of course, this is way too heavy and the boat will go down. But with one passenger only right here, it has demonstrated that even if one passenger 
is leaning all the way to the right. Let's lean him more right. Let's put his legs on the side as well. It's still not rolling over. So with the right payload, this thing is very, very stable, tracks very straight. Okay, so this model right here, this hull, V, flat bottom, and M is the winner for now. Okay, now comes the catamaran hull, which we know obviously double V, flat bottom is definitely going to be one of the most stable when it comes to it. Does not track straight, will need a rudder. Passenger will have its seat up here somewhere, so let's say it's good. Let's add one more passenger and look at that. All the other boats, they rolled over with the passenger slipping around, but this one is not because the passenger is sitting right in the middle, nice and good, and not going anywhere, so the boat is not rolling, rolling around. On the side, it's another story always when you put something very heavy. Please come out. So with this one, my plan would be seat in the middle, one seat here, one seat here, so three people can sit. Let's say if we have the transformer just on its knees and legs and arms and foot, this is still very good. But I find that it tends to go down on the front more. So what I will need is to sit as back as possible. And obviously we will have the load of batteries and motors on the back as well. But this is gonna take much more filament because of its width and its length. Two meter by one meter. However, it's really nice and stable. So the conclusion is catamaran. So oh, here's the conclusion. M hull, catamaran, V and flat bottom, V flat bottom and M together. These are the four hulls that I have in my mind. So you have watched all four hull types in action right here in the bathtub. Let me know in the video comments, what do you think? Which one I should go for? Which one I should 3D print in full size? Let me know in the video comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be waiting for your answer. And right after that, we, when we decide which hull to go for, we'll start preparing the model, slice it, and start 3D printing it. Stay tuned for more videos coming your way. Do comment and let me know which hull do you like the best. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right